guys, how are all doing today? Well, during the recent feeding video, I was checking out the comments and I got some several requests by uh, a couple of users. Uh, Diane wanted me to uh, film uh, the pair of P. Metallica, and as well as Prince7021, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he wanted me to uh, film uh, Serena, the E. Wagenbergie. So, I guess we will do that. Just watered the teas this morning. And uh, we'll see what we find. I did get a molt from uh, one of my Ephopa species, the Udaman. So, that should give some several requests because I never actually get to see these teas out. So here is a Pocotheria Safasca Highland, the Candy Highland Ornamental. Now there's a recent name change to one of our teas concerning this one right here, uh, the Safasca Lowland, right over here. So now we're calling this Pocotheria Barra. So we're not even technically sure if this is actual a Safasca or not. Here is a better video of Rosalina, Samapoas uh, Pulker, Pama Blonde. You can see the complete blackness is gone. So she's got a, like a blonde going on. My OBT is hunting out in the background. And unfortunately for me, it's a female. Well, she was pretty angry during the feeding video. <laughs> Most OBTs are. Okay, so for Diane's request, okay, here's uh, one of the P. Metallica. Uh, this is likely to be a female. I can just get a good glimpse at her. There we go. It's a little sling, she's starting to show her adult colors. Hey, I would say she's probably around an inch and a half. Tarantula Canada is actually selling these again. They got a huge um, import. So, uh, they have a lot of uh, Safaskas, Barras, Highlands, Lowlands, um, no Smithies though, or no Hanumavila Samika. And here's Sonic, the mature male. As you can see, bulbous pulps and uh, drab colors on the abdomen. Still waiting for someone who wants to do a 50-50 bring along with me. I don't have a female. Well, at least the one I have is nowhere near mature. Now here's uh, Prince's request to see the Eupalastrus uh, Wagenbergi. This is the white collared. Little baby Serena, she's <laughs> about an inch big. She is a very slow growing species. But what I really like about these teas is that uh, these are very, very docile species. And they have great appetites too. So I don't know if she's close to a molt or not. It's uh, been about a couple of months since she last molted. So hopefully I'll uh, film that if she ever molts. I have her in a little small deli container. So uh, she's going to be fine for now. That's a really nice species. Now for the E. Udeman. If I can try to find her and uh, get her out, we'll film her. Before I go on to the E. Udeman, I thought I should give an update on this one right here. This is a Pocotheria tigrino acelli, commonly called the Wessel Tiger Ornamental. Uh, this one's a little female. She's around uh, 2 inches. This is Tina. She was featured in the previous feeding video. This is a very, very beautiful pokey. Although it is rather rare, but it's a nice species. It kind of looks like a resemblance between the Formosa. If as you can see, the legs are kind of uh, have purplish highlights, just like a Formosa, and has the carapace patterns and the abdomen similar to the P. Miranda. Very beautiful as adult. Can't wait to get to see mine grow into a full-grown adult female. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Alright, in this deli container is my newly molted Ephobopus um, Udeman. Uh, the Emerald Skeleton. To be honest with you, it didn't really grow that much. 
I probably would assume she is close to the two and a half to two point seven five inch mark. Here, hopefully this is a little better video of her. Uh, yeah, really didn't grow that much. And here's Esmeralda's molt, the Udemin. So let me try to zoom in and see if we can actually see the flap. Yeah, there we go. You can see it. Confirmed female. Sweet. And then finally, someone asked me to um, give an update on Kingler, the Halloween crab. I'm actually going on Friday to uh, buy a five-gallon tank for him. He's doing fine. He's got really great eyesight. Alright guys, before we let you go, I got some good news and bad news. Well, I guess we'll start off with the bad news and then end on a high note. Alright, if you noticed on my tarantula channel, uh, my tarantula count went down to 122 as opposed to 124. And I don't understand how this would happen, but uh, two of my pea poker slings had passed away. Uh, that's number uh, two and number four. So the only ones I have left is uh, the first one and the one with the crooked leg, still doing fine. But I don't understand how it could die. It had plenty of humidity. We fed it. As you saw during the fourth sling video, they were doing fine but not taking any food. So well, I hope one of those two ends up being a male and uh, hopefully in a year or two, when they fully mature, we'll pair them up with Rosalina by the time she'll be mature. But on a good note, is that uh, my birthday is coming up soon, as you guys know. October, no, November the 8th, which is uh, six days from today. So, since Tarantula Canada got a huge import of tarantulas and other spiders, I actually reserved one, and um, I'll guess I'll let you guys in on it. Many people have asked me to get a blue fang, the Ifopus uh, cyano Nathus, I think that's what it is. And I couldn't find one because they were very rare in Canada. Well, I guess today is my lucky day because Tarantula Canada has loads of them. So, unfortunately, I ordered one. So I'm going to have my very own blue fang. And, you know, since I have the Udaman, I have the Moranus, now I'm having a blue fang. Might as well pick up a Rufins, so that way I completed the Phobos genus. And I'm probably going to choose one more. And the third one I'm going to get, well, I'm not too sure. I might need your guys' help. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you Tarantula Canada's website. I'll put this in the video description. And how about you guys pick me a third one? So I'll gather up the consensus by next Thursday. That's when I'll go pick them up. And then uh, we'll see what happens. So I hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching. Oh, P.S. Tarantula Canada will have um, some uh, black widows. I ain't getting a black widow. Just uh, too hot for me.